Hey everyone, it's Silverlimey79 here. I just thought I'd uh, quickly do a tour of King's John's Castle while I was uh, in the area. So let's take a wonder. This is the exhibition area. Uh, early Gaelic society. Ireland's Golden Age, 6th century. Now we're going to work through the exhibition and then we'll go and see the castle which dates back to the 13th century. And it's named after King's. Uh, it's named after King uh, King John. Sorry, I couldn't live stream this, but I wasn't showing the signal inside the actual building. So let's take a wander through. This is obviously the uh, development of the castle. So you can see all the dates there. Twelve ten. I'll leave it there for a few minutes while you guys take a look. All the way through to 1297. This is obviously a scene where they're um, laying the, uh, or the scaffolding, should I say, and how they're uh, building the castle area. There were there were quite a few castles in Ireland named after King John because King John came over, and it was a special visit. So there's King John's castles pretty much throughout Ireland, all named after him. That's Henry V. Scourge of the French, as he's uh, as he's known as he's known about. There's a very early map there, City of Limerick. Sorry, the lighting's not that great. Obviously, there's some videos and that. If you guys ever make it to Limerick, definitely check out King King John's Castle. Here we go, this is the Limerick in 1535. It's just an area. So you had the castle there on the, uh, that stretched all the way through, more than likely city walls, and then you've got King's John Castle there, just on the side. Let's see if we can put some lighting on. Obviously, funny enough, it's got all these uh, buttons here, so we're gonna click on that button there. That one doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look. So we've got uh, Thorman Bridge. Let's see if that lights up. Oh, there we go. Nicholas, St. Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Church. Tyler Mills. And that's back there. And it goes through a bit of history. Uh, Limerick's first Irish mayor. And then this, uh, I presume, is supposed to be like an apartment. Uh, the Privy Seal. Probably a replica of the original seal. There we go, fax miles, obviously not the original, obviously. Henry VIII's grant to Edmund. There we go, Henry VIII uh, reluctantly becomes King of Ireland. Here we go, Elizabeth I. Ireland under Elizabeth I. Again, I won't really go into too much detail, otherwise this could be a long video. We still need to go out and check out the ramparts. Head this way. Tour continues. I don't know if that's supposed to be a uh, satire in regards to the, wall, uh, the heads hanging up there. And then they've got obviously a video there. Flight of the Girls. Obviously, the Flight of the Girls, obviously they got to a point where um, the Earls of Ireland left Ireland um, after unsuccessfully rebelling uh, and effectively caught, um, you know, effectively um, becoming, the, the crimes were treasonous, so they would have been hanged. Uh, who knows, maybe even some other grisly, uh, grisly way. So as we can see there, we've got King's John's Castle, just follow the footprints. Making our way down, and I presume we're going to be heading out. Under siege, 1642. What's all this about? Oh, we got another exhibition here. 1641 rebellion. Timber boards down play supports. So that would have been in basically, there you go, look at that. Approximately 3.4 cubic meters of earth were displayed by the miners each day. This over three times the cubic volume. 
timber boards were placed along the damp clay walls for support. The height of the tunnel was approximately one and a half metres. This obviously would have been a, uh, one of the earlier houses. Obviously you can see here there's a video. That would be excavation works. You can see there mining, how much space they would have to have uh, counter mining. Right, let's head out and see what the castle has. Okay, so the castle is this way, so there we go, we can see some of the ramparts there, uh, the turrets. Uh, I presume we can get a picture taken there next to the, uh, or well, on the horse. So continues. Oh, you go in the undercroft. Yeah, maybe we're actually heading underneath the, uh, the castle here. So the castle works. So there's the retaining walls there on the right hand side. Sixteen forty two. The siege tunnels. Early castle, 12th century. Obviously you guys can feel free to pause this any time you like. Eastman houses. That would have been a house there, look at that. It's really the planks on the sides. Been what the dwelling would have looked like. This reminds me of like a sort of a Viking, sort of Nordic house. Hmm. Let's go all the way through here. Hmm. Interesting how they numbered all the bricks. Be another house there. And we're going to head out now. Yeah, we've just come out of the crypt here, and here is the staging area, if you call it that. Obviously, this is probably an old. Uh... Oh wow, this is weird. These sort of kings and coming. Obviously, this is just just a mock-up. But this is probably where they would uh, kind of sit and have something to eat. A bit of target practice with some bow, uh, bows and arrows. There you can see the uh, the main gate. It goes all the way across here and it goes around the bay there. And uh, there's one of the turrets. Yeah, around it, didn't see any. Uh, didn't see much else around here, really. Might have been. Um, this would have been a blacksmith forge. You can see the anvil there. They probably have some events or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if they have some recreational uh, dress ups and that sort of thing on the weekend. So, you know, maybe they put some of this gear on. Go where the work is. Smiths were in high demand in many um, op accompanied armies to repair weapons and armor after battle. I'll say that must have been a seriously well paid job. <laughs> well, there's some of the. Um, Elements there. I don't know if that's probably modern reproductions. Big massive anvil. I totally missed that. A bit of a chest there. Body armor. Chainmail.
Rest, please. <laughs> Very nice. There we go. Let's get Smith on there. We got the Masons building here. And let's take a look here, actually, quick. Attention, children must be supervised in the castle grounds. Okay, so this probably would have been an older part of the castle here. You can see there. Okay, let's go check the mason's area. So this, uh, the mason would have been the guy who made all the brickwork. Stonework, brickwork for the castle. That's interesting. There we go. We've got a locked area there. That would have been the spiral staircase. Ah, there he is there. So that's the uh, mason there. Lift the coin purse to meet Nicholas the mason. Grinding stone. What do you think? Should we lift the uh, Should we lift the coin purse and see what this guy's got to say? That probably would have been started to carve, you can see by the detail there. Must have been some seriously heavy work. Lime, lime washed walls. That would have been the normal sort of interior layout. Yeah, we're back outside. Um, yeah, so more than likely the, uh, the whitewashed, the majority of the time, the, the, obviously they didn't really have paint, so they had lime wash. That's basically what they did with the interior is to let more light in because the windows were restricted. Obviously you couldn't have these big wide open windows like we do today because obviously people could pick you off with either arrows or you know firearms as the years went on. Let's go take a walk down here. That's been a gatehouse apparently. That's the two tower structures here. Great Hall. Father Rubble Stone. Nice ocean view. There's the construction of the Great Great Hall, which is the area we're in at the minute. There's the developments. You guys can see that. There you go. It's an old helmet right there. <laughs> Big high walls. Okay, we're back in the staging area here. We're going to head over to the gatehouse now. Um, apparently, you can actually go to the top of two of the turrets. I presume it's probably one. Of, it's probably these two up here. Big massive gatehouse. Probably one of the more uh, more complete ones. If you have a look here, you've got these two wall structures there. That probably would have come out more. Or it could have been a, a more decorative piece. That's just been torn down. Okay, it doesn't look like we can go that way, so... And there's the stocks. And there's the hangman's area. It seems a bit low for, for a hanging. Oh, we got the armory. Let's go check the armory out. Wow. Okay, here we are. This is the armory. Okay, so we've got shields. That would be Norman, Norman style. Kind of long, thin at the base, wide at the top. You've got your pikes, whole beards, spears. You wouldn't want to be run through with that one. I'd say even that one there in the middle. Oh, well, there's your yeah, there's your swords. Hmm. 
Very nice. Nice. Let's go and uh, take a look at this terrace up here now. This is the way here. Uh, that's probably a chapel. You can tell there by the cross. So probably a replica in regards to the size of the original one, which was actually here. Made to look like an old uh, book piece. And the pews. Nice wooden uh, carvings there. Right, let's take a look through. Hopefully, there might be a way to get up here. There we go, castle this way. I think that's probably just a. how high the ceiling goes. Penny wheel press. Oh, oh, the screen's not working. Must be a must be a ghost. This is the King's Mint. Right guys, this is this is where they made the coinage. Look at these treasure chests over here, full of coin. I mind grabbing some of that, eh? What do you think? You think I, do you think I can get away with that? Let me just grab some there. Ah, it's all stuck together. Just imagine all that. <laughs> oh, that would have been a die. Let's see if there's anything on it. And that's just a steel rod. But that would have been a minting die. It would have hammered. The design on it. King's Mint. Well, we're going to take a look upstairs. Just a quick one, guys. In regards to the stairs, I've said this before. If you're a right-handed defender and someone's charging you up the stairwell, and primarily, I'd say, probably a good portion of the population back then were right-handed. Now, obviously, if you're coming around and you've got your sword in the right hand, how are you going to slash someone coming up here? So the defend the defender had the advantage because they could effectively, you know, sway their sword around with relative ease. But if you were coming around this side, you, and you first of all you had this column here, and you couldn't really do it, so you sort of had to stab up where the defender had the advantage. Thin stairs, right? And they also had trip stairs. So, um, there you go. Oh, it's just a oh yeah, guard station. Yeah, so they had uh, trip stairs. So every, I think every third or fourth step was slightly thinner than than the rest. So if you were running up, you'd actually trip. <laughs> And that's why they call it trip stairs. And here we are, we're at the top of the turret here. We've got the whole place to ourselves here. Look at that. It's a glorious day here in Ireland for a change. Blue skies, hardly any wind. This is the river, the River Shannon. Beautiful view here of the castle. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. That's the, uh, that's the bridge, uh, what's that called? Uh, uh, Thorn Thornbury Bridge or something like that, I think it was. Just beautiful. Yankee, if you're watching, this is something you're probably going to see if you do make it this side. And likewise with stacking and prepping, if you guys come in here, you've got to come to Limerick. Staying in Dublin, and that's just the uh, the rest of the castle there. So it ran, pretty much ran along the the River Shannon. So probably as a form of formidable uh, defensive structure. Sorry, there the video just cut short. I didn't have enough space, so I just had to make a plan there. So yeah, it's been a glorious day here. Uh, this is um, well, there was a fire there actually. There was there wasn't there a minute ago. 
But um, yeah, if you're ever coming to Ireland, definitely worth a place worth visiting here. Johnstown Castle, and that's it, Limerick. We're gonna cut up the way across here. This is the, uh, the wallway there. And it's not very often you can walk across uh, castle walls. They tend to be seriously damaged. We're gonna try and see if we can go in here. Oh, there's a presentation area here. But enough of this talk. Very serious face. <laughs> Pray go forth, explore the city. As constable, I commanded. Constable. Yeah, probably like and a sheriff. Friend, we meet again. We're out. Another small And Again, this is just above the main gatehouse area. Let's have a continue our way up. And here we are. Irish flag up there. Sorry, I'm like literally steering into the sun here. You guys can see that. we came from over there. Concludes our roof tour there, gents, ladies. We're head our way down, it says be careful at low headroom. So, and literally, that is the spiral staircase. So, yeah, if you were in a hurry, I wouldn't have run a tread softly from here. I'm going to put this down for a sec, I'll see you in a minute, guys. Right, here we are. Welcome back outside. I'd say that was a bit of a perilous tour. Especially when you're climbing up them stairs. Wow. Well, that looks like a maintenance area there. Let's just double check what that is. One area we haven't been in. Let's check it out while we're here, I suppose. Oh, look at that. Would have been the um, fireplace would have gone up there. It probably would have been a lot more elaborate. It wouldn't have been uh, this plane that we see here. Oh, and they've sealed it up. Okay, so yeah. pews. Nice presentation. King John's Castle. Mm, history to life. On Civil Army 79's channel. <laughs> Guys, thanks very much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, please comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. I've got a uh, couple of packages have arrived, which is exciting. Well, my wife was just telling me there, so I'm looking forward to opening them up. So have a glorious day wherever you are. Chat to you soon, guys, and see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button in the middle there, and watch the other content. Take care.